Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Anyway, like always, I have some interesting photos to discuss today. All of them are old photos, but still very well worth discussing now. By the way, I apologize if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Actress Isla Fisher is on the cover of Elle Australia, with a rather visible occult elite symbol, right on her chest. That is kind of like branding cattle with a hot iron, but with a Gucci dress. The same dress is prominently featured on the October cover of Female Singapore. They really want the entire world to see that dress and symbol. That same dress was also featured in Wonderland magazine. They really want us to see it. Polar Collective is Rio de Janeiro-based creative group that is described as Afro-feminist fantasist. According to The Guardian, the group explores challenges the struggle faced by black women in Brazil through theatrical and provocative art. The actual message of some of these pictures is actually much more aggressive. The images portray empowerment through hate and even violence. In this picture, a man, who apparently was savagely beaten to death, is hung on a wall like a hunting trophy. So inspiring. This photo shows a man dressed in a suit, imprisoned by a man in drag. The woman in a shooting range, where the targets are men. Is this truly feminism? Isn't it about equality? Why has it become about all-out hatred? There are dozens of other pics that could be posted here, but you probably get it by now. What would have been the reception of as the roles were reversed? Outrage. And another example of horrific abuse being presented as art is a deeply disturbing mural appeared overnight in Brussels. This mural depicts a young boy held down by a man holding a knife. It is inspired by the painting There is something deeply wrong with our society if this is deemed art that is okay to display in the streets. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Of course, the one eye sign is everywhere. And Netflix has it, all over its platform. Here's a promotional image for a series of unfortunate events. Here's another one from the same series. This is the promotional image for another Netflix production, Eye Boy. Or should I say Eye Boy? Get it? Because of the eye. Narcos, another Netflix original. They love that one eye sign. Did you think that the elite symbolism would not follow the streaming media revolution? On the cover of that Wonderland magazine is Kim Kardashian, with one eye hidden of course. Speaking of the Kardashians, Kendall Jenner posted an extremely symbolic picture on Instagram. She got the word meow tattooed inside her lip, which is exactly what an MK6 kitten would do. To make things extra obvious, Kendall took care to include the classic occult elite symbol in the background. Men can be sex kittens too. This is Robbie Williams fully draped in butterflies, represents monarch programming. For some reason, he revealed his underwear to the audience. It featured a fierce kitten ride on the crotch. In short, he was 100% dressed in MK Beta kitten programming uniform. Zayn Malik was also dressed with butterflies and kittens in High Snobriety magazine. There's a tiger on the sleeve of that Gucci jacket. The same photo shoot features him hiding one eye. His face is saying, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yes Malik, you are being sucked big time into the occult elite system. I wish there was a pic describing what I am trying to say. That will do, same photo shoot. Blueso is a popular German singer signed with Sony Music. This is a recent pic of him thanking the industry for letting him being popular. 
actress Allison Williams, in a photo shoot celebrating the finale of Lena Dunham's series, Girls. Ann Jones in Variety's inauguration issue. This is the cover of the autobiography of Juventus footballer, Claudio Marchisio, features him doing the one-eye sign. The number of book covers featuring celebrities doing that sign is ridiculous. On the left is Emma Watson at Harper's Bazaar Women of the Year Awards. Most critics said that she had a very pretty Christian Dior dress. A closer look at it, left, reveals that there's a big Baphomet head on it. At the bottom is stitched the diable, which means the devil in French. Emma won the Inspiration of the Year Award that night. Asa Butterfield is another young English man who has to give praise to his elite rulers. In this picture, he is recreating the symbol of the all-seeing eye inside the triangle with his hands and eye in Sean magazine. Same photo shoot, same one-eye thing. Asa Butterfield was also on the cover of Rogue magazine, with, once again, the one-eye sign. How can one not acknowledge the insistence of the symbol across mass media? These celebrities are all telling us that they are slaves to a system, and nobody is seeing it. Ellie Osborne is also hiding one eye on the alternate cover of the same magazine. Gerard Padalecki, Jensen Ackles and Misha Collins are all blatantly hiding one eye in the same magazine. Do we have to see this crap in video games now? Yes, we do. It has to be everywhere. The October cover of Le Fissile features actor Lee Jong Suk hiding one eye. But wait, maybe it is a coincidence. Maybe he had something in his eye and they took the picture right at that moment and decided to put that picture right on the cover of the magazine. No coincidence. Just another celebrity doing what he is being told. Here's James Charles endorsed by Katy Perry. The eye on his shirt is a good way of telling us that this is all part of the occult elite's agenda. I am not saying that this guy shouldn't wear makeup, I don't care what he does with his face. I am saying that he is exactly what the industry wants to see in mass media right now. Do you remember? Five years ago, newspapers around the world announced a project to create the first nation in space. Named after the one of the worlds inhabited by Norse gods, Asgardia was unveiled by a team of scientists and legal experts. They say that the move will foster peace, open up access to space technologies, and offer protection for citizens of planet Earth. Ha ha ha. But why is there a giant eye of Horus right on the official depiction of the space nation? Put your comment below. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.